So the second round of the World Cup qualifier at Gatton is just about to commence and our first horse on the course is Fl Florina, ridden by Clem Smith. And Florina had eight jumping penalties in the first round. Clear fence one and two. So it's going to be interesting to see how the horses handle this course on their second round. The course has been changed. The treble has been reduced to a double. And this fence, fence five, was actually not in the first course. And so far, Florina jumping a lovely clear round. And safely through the double. This fence, yes, caused a lot of problems this morning, and it's also caused a problem for Florina. Our second horse on the course is Cheesy Z, and he is being ridden by Brett Warren. And again, in the first round, he incurred eight jumping penalties. So this round, of course, also, it will be the best result, but also the fastest time. So certainly the pressure on these horses and riders to jump clear, but also to take the quickest line that they can. In the case of a quality, time will count. So Brett's certainly moving along and at this stage clear. It'll rattle at fence six but no penalty. And now just coming in fairly tight to this double. Clear A and clear B and this fence that caused so much problem in the earlier round and clear and just the one fence remaining and that's a fabulous clear round well done to Cheesy and Brett Warren so that gives him a total of eight penalties over the two rounds our third competitor, Belcam Cosmic, ridden by Christy Brunn, and Christy also incurred eight penalties in the first round, and she's clear fence one. Clear three, and this course is pretty open, not a lot of fill in these fences, which is similar to the way these Horses are built in Europe, and very good experience for these horses to get used to jumping a course similar to what they'll have to jump when they go to compete overseas if they're fortunate enough to do so. Really tight turn coming in to 7A, and yes, she gets away with it. So this should be a really good tight time if she can be clear. I'm just coming in now to the last fence. And yes, all clear, fabulous, lovely clear round to Belcam Cosmic and Christy Brunn. So at this stage that puts Christy in the lead. She has a total of eight jumping penalties over the two rounds and at this stage the quickest time. Diamond B, Jimmy Chu, and Gabrielle Kuna, our fourth competitors in this second round of the World Cup, and unfortunately four penalties at fence two. Further four penalties. For A, and 
is taking the slightly longer turn to 7A and B, getting well set up and clear A and B. And big effort over fence eight, one fence remaining. And four jumping penalties. Correction, that was eight jump, jumping penalties and a total of 16 over the two rounds for Darwin B. Jimmy Chu and Gabrielle Kuna. And now we have our only five falter on the course, and that is quite Cassini, and he's ri ridden by Ross Smith. He's taken the really tight turn into fence five, and yes, gets away with that very nicely. Just bearing in mind that these horses need to jump clear, but also the fastest time will be the, the decider. Then taking the longer option onto 7A. And clear and clear. So two fences remaining. That's a lovely, lovely round for Quite Cassini and Ross Smith. So that puts Ross Smith and Quite Cassini into the lead at this stage with a total of five jumping penalties over the two rounds. Now we start on the first of our four falters from the first round and the first horse is Aladino, ridden by Merrick Eubank. So four jumping penalties in the first round and see if Aladino can jump another clear or jump a clear and therefore take the lead in this competition. Merrick's certainly moving this horse along. Be interesting to see here if he takes the, the tight turn. No, he takes the longer route onto fence five. Taking a little more time, but just making sure that he's balanced and lucky, wrapped fence five, but no jumping penalty. And clear six, and he elects to take the very tight turn onto this combination of seven A, which is clear, a wrap, but clear, and seven B. So two fences remaining, big leap over fence eight and just the one fence remaining to put this horse and rider combination into the lead in this World Cup qualifier. And unfortunately just drops a hind leg on the last fence, rail down and so he has another four penalties to add to his score from the first round which gives him a total of eight. Next horse on the course is one of our young riders, Yalambi's Landor, and being ridden by Evie Buller. Evie Buller actually competed in the young rider classes yesterday and in fact finished third. This is a wonderful opportunity for these young riders riding at this World Cup level. Unfortunately, a further four penalties, and she takes the tighter track into fence five and gets away with that. And big leap over fence six, and again the tight turn onto 7A. So this will be a tight time. She just has to make sure that she leaves the rest of the course up. Clear 7A and B. And one fence remaining for Evie Buller and Yalambi's Landor. And gallops into the last fence and jumps it in great style. So lovely, lovely round for Evie. And that actually puts Evie into second place at this stage. So that was a super round. 
and we now see Oaks Impala and Hilary Scott. And Hilary also completed the first round with four jumping penalties. Oh, very lucky at fence two, quite a heavy wrap, but no penalty. And this horse just looking as if it's traveling a little bit more quietly, so obviously going for the clear, which unfortunately is not going to happen. So now we'll see the tight turn, the pressure is on and coming short into fence five. And again, tight turn. These riders having to try to cut as much off the track as they can to achieve the quicker time. And particularly in view of this horse was traveling fairly quietly at the earlier part of the round. So now she's really got to get him traveling along so that she's in contention with these four fault riders. And she does that in very nice style. Our final horse in the second round of this jump off in the World Cup qualifier is W. Jetson and David Goodwin. And unfortunately, they've had two rails down to add to their four in the first round. And now they've had a, a third fence down. So unfortunately, certainly out of contention for the win, but they will certainly be, still be in the money for placings. Congratulations, Ross Smith and Quite Cassini. Um, well done on your win, and uh, how does it feel? Yeah, pretty special. Like, you know, we, we all the riders and that, we strive to win World Cups, and that's what it's about. And we've, you know, come across from New Zealand with the sole purpose of, you know, competing in the World Cups and being competitive. And today was our day. You know, the horse jumped very, very good. And it was a good course. It was tough. It was tough enough, you know. And, and this horse sort of showed he's got a little bit of ability, so it was exciting for us all. And what's the future for you and, and for the lovely horse? Um, eventually, we would like to think he's good enough to go overseas and compete and be competitive. I think he's he's still very young and, and stuff, but that's the ultimate aim. But then, you know, people are now talking money. So, as I said before, we want to buy a house and set ourselves up. And, and yeah, we'd like to keep him, but we'll see what it pans out. But. Evie, congratulations. Uh, Evie Buller and Yolambi Landor. And uh, you finished second in the World Cup qualifier today. And we spoke to you last night after you'd uh, finished third in the Techno Young Rider class. And uh, you thought that you had, had a good chance today. So congratulations. How does it feel? Thanks very much. It feels great to have come out today and do very well. Did my best and came second. Um, Rod, R Ross rode a great round and so well done to him. I'm very happy with how my horse went and preparation and everything was all good. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. Brett Warren and Cheesy, congratulations. Third in the World Cup qualifier today. How do you feel? Um, yeah, no, it's good. It's good to be back up the, the head of the line again with the others. Um, congratulations to Ross. He did a great job and that really nice horse. Um, yeah, I was really happy with the mare. We've had a bit of um, a sort of a bad lead up to this show, but um, yeah, she came good today and I was really pleased with the way she went.